Hello and welcome to another week in our garden. We're starting this week in the top greenhouse, which is absolutely full to bursting. And we're going to put two cucumbers in. They're a little bit on the early side, but we need to get them in because they're getting a little bit large in the pots now. So we'll get those done and then we'll put some peanuts in while we're up here and then we'll do some cuttings down in the shed. So let's get these cucumbers planted and hopefully the weather will stay warm for the next few days. At night I shall wrap them in fleece just to keep them that little bit warm. They're a little bit temperamental, they just don't like the cold. So these are the cucumbers, they've been out the propagator for well over a week now so we can get them potted. I have had them in here for a few days as well. Looks like something's damaged that leaf, but we'll have to have a look round. Can't see anything on it. So let's just pick two. As you can see, some of the leaves are a bit coloured. That's because the propagator and it's had a light above it, so that's just bleached them a bit with the light. But that's perfectly all right. Let's pop these two in then. I put the frame up for them. I did have two of the blue pots that we made left but once I filled one it actually dropped a bit so now we're going to have to have a plastic. These haven't been potted very long at all so there might not be a full root down the bottom but that's not a problem. We'll get them in there so they can really spread the roots out. There you are look they've not even broke through the pot. Perhaps a little bit just there but we want to keep them growing so we'll get them in there. I'm just going to make a hole with my hand. It's good compost in there so they should be alright. Nice and gentle. We'll put the label on. These are Femme Spot, they're hybrid. Very, very good cucumber. Now, I'm potting it quite low. And this compost plenty wet enough for them as well. Now, as they grow up, I'll top the compost up when it's settled down because they will root from the stem as well. Once it gets onto the mesh, it'll grip itself on eventually, so it'll be fine. Let's put the other one in. Right, the same again. There's a little bit of straw in this one because I put straw in the bottom of the cucumber pots to stop the compost flushing out with this one falling to pieces so we've got a little bit of straw mixed in with the compost but it'll be okay just gently pop it in there you are just tighten them up they'll be fine so that's the cucumbers in and we'll attach them to there and within four weeks we should have cucumbers. Now we'll get these peanuts in. Quite simple, even the little ones can grow these. And I'll show you how we put them in. Just a case of making a hole with your finger, about two inches deep, and we'll do one in that one. Now, there they are. There's your peanut seed. Now, these are peanut seed, that means they're quite fresh. If the, the ones that have been in the shops in those packs, they're dried out, they probably won't germinate, but it's worth a try. With these, you just pop them in, push them down. Now you can plant them without the husk on which we've already done here look. These have been planted without the husk on and you can see they're just coming up. They're like, they're the same as peas. They throw, throw the seed sides up and then the leaves appear from there. This one's got three peanuts in. So we'll plant it, we'll probably get three plants. If we do, we'll divide them later. Push it well down, they'll be fine. 
you can put them any way up they'll sort themselves out this one it's got two seeds in it but we'll not break them we'll just put them in but do get some peanut seed and do try it there you are it's literally as simple as that now the compost I've just used seed compost and I wanted to put some vermiculite in it but I've run out of vermiculite I'm unable to get to the shops as you know so what I've done I put some grit sand in there as well just to open it up they will need an open compost that drains very easily so that bit of grit sand in there will help them drain we've got one left it's broken and um, there is a peanut in there so we'll pop it in with putting them in in the shell obviously you've got to wait for the shell to soak up the moisture and then disintegrate a little bit to release the seed out so if you're doing them with the shell on they will take a little longer to germinate can be up to 21 days for a peanut so be patient with them these here that I shelled and I planted in were popping through and that one's just coming through and that one and that one and that one they've been in there only a week and I think that's because I took the shells off and planted the peanut these might take a little longer but we'll see the other thing to remember is to keep them warm and keep them moist but not over wet don't over wet them, I think you'll find they'll rot if you're, especially in the showers, they will rot quicker. So we'll put those in, we'll give them a drink of water. These big pots can actually stay in this greenhouse, but the tray I'll return to the propagator where it was. So we'll go down to the shed where I've got everything I need in the shed to take the cutting, so we'll do them in there. And then we'll have a walk down and I'll show you what progress we're making on the garden, putting the tunnels up for the brassicas. That's a little bit better. We've come into the shed now and we're going to take these cuttings of the lonicera or honeysuckle. Now this is the yellow flowering variety. I can't remember its name offhand, but when I get back to the house, I'll check. It's quite strong, quite a strong grower, and it has a lovely fragrant flower. And I often, when it's flowering, I often pick the scent up of it when I'm out on the garden. So it's quite a nice plant. But remember, your honeysuckles, you do need support and they do need a little bit of control because they can soon get out of hand if you let them run. Let's take some cuttings. This is one, we've just cut a dozen off I think we got. Uh, it's just the normal way as normal, remember, just do it nice and carefully. Remember it's a sharp knife so be careful, just below the node. And with these, it's all new growth so if you don't take some of these leaves off they will just flop over. There you are, it's a nice cutting that is. Touching the water in the powder and then put it in. As you see I've already done a few on the tray. Put them in quite deep but not too deep so it's the bottom of the tray and they'll be fine. Let's have a look this one. That one, if I took the cutting off just there, let me show you. I think that'll be too long for it to support all that. That would just fall over with the lack of moisture going off. So let's pick another one. This one might not, it will. Let's have this one. So be a bit selective. If it's drawn up too much, remember it will flop over. Take those off. Take that off as well. Just there, like that. 
and then we will half these leaves because they will fall and that's made a nice cutting in the water in the powder and then remember quite deep because they they are really really new grown let's do one more now I'm using rooting powder as you know but you can still you can use gel now this one if we went there it'd be too long so we're going to literally go into that one there just take those off nice and tight just be careful with them they are very tender just like that there it is touch the water touch the rooting powder and then in it goes now you will need some bottom meat to get these rooted so these are going to propagator on a windowsill remember not in full sun because if in full sun they'll just go down very very quickly you can put them in a polythene bag if you wish but remember to keep the top of the polythene bag off the leaves because they don't the moisture builds up on the polythene it will rot the leaves but let's let's get those in get them labeled and i think i'll show you then what we're going to set this week as you can see the propagator's got seeds in it they are coming up they've got some gourds i don't know if you can remember that mint we took last week the root cuttings that's just beginning to show already that's seven days so another week that will be full Right, so there's your Lonicera honeysuckle going in. That's it on the bottom. Now, I've put little blocks of wood around the propagator to let the air flow when I put the lid on. Pop the lid on, and that lets plenty of air flow through it, and it stops the seedlings and the cuttings from dampening off it makes life a lot easier for us just before I show you what seed I'm putting in can you remember when we took the lavender cuttings about two or three weeks ago anyway they've rooted and they're growing if we just left them like this this would continue growing up and up and it won't make a nice bushy plant so what we do we go round and I'll take them off just there, just there, there. That one is already broken not so it's doing a job for me. Take that off. Just there, not too low but always give yourself a a node just in case it doesn't take and then you can cut it back again they're fine up now and that one it's a strong plant that one but we'll go there now that's make those so that they'll break from the bottom like this one as i don't know if you can see it because it's already been broken at top its side shoots are really coming along now and they'll make really bushy plants. I'm not going to pop them up just yet. I'd like to see a little bit more root at the bottom of the tray before I pop them up. It makes pop them up potting it makes potting them up easier if there's quite a bit of root there. It's easier to get out the cell. So rather than pop them up now, we'll give them another week or so and then we'll pop them up they'll actually go with us now down into the bottom greenhouse and we'll leave them there for a week now these little bits we've actually cut off the tops of the lavender although they smell absolutely beautiful we could turn them back into cuttings again Not this one two three four five six there's seven cuttings there that we could actually put back into a tray and keep 
the propagation going of that strain but we don't want that we've got 10 there that's enough for now so they'll be discarded but if you if you can use them don't throw them now this week I'm going to put in the squashes we're going to put the butternut squash in so we can get them grown up to put on that frame that we have out there and in another corner of the garden well away from them we'll put the Turks turban so Di can use them for decorating in the autumn or you can eat them if you wish remember when you're setting squash seeds pumpkin seeds any really big flat seed to plant them on the edge and then when they germinate they can lift the leaves out easier from if they're sideways on in the soil okay they've put squashes of different varieties together on the frame or in a frame because they will cross pollinate and you'll get all sorts of different sizes and colors probably that you don't want okay now we'll go down to the bottom greenhouse we'll take the lavender with us and on the way i'll show you the progress of getting the arches up to put the fleece on for the brassicas and i'll quickly take the temperature of the soil to see whether we can plant the potatoes yet these are the arches i'm putting up if you can remember and then i put the insect fleece over the top i have done the one that i use for the brussels because next week we actually want to put the brussels in so the the brussel one is ready and then these will be for the brassicas and that one over there i don't know if you see it the far one will be for early carrots that will, they will go in there now this is the tunnel we're going to use for the brussels quite sturdy and we've put the fleece on but i noticed we've got one or two holes in it so i've sent some glue for material and we'll put a little patch on those goodness knows how it's got a hole in it but it's probably a white fly with a hacksaw i do tape the corners with the heavy duty tape so this the net won't snarl while it's being blown about so that's the for ready for the brussels the ground is so dry at the moment i'm not even going to attempt to put them in until it's uh, the weather breaks and we get some rain while we're going down to the bottom greenhouse we'll just check the temperature on the potato bed to see whether we can put those in yet i don't know if you can see that but it's eight degrees we need another two degrees and we can put the potatoes in add all this rain and etc this or this spring very wet spring and look the ground is now cracking open so we really do need some rain now i'm also getting ready for putting the frame up for these will be for the butternut squashes i've painted it i tried to paint everything once a year it makes it last longer but what i will do that's actually the roof so i'll get the roof into the place that i want the frame and then mark it off take that away and put the sides up then put the roof back on top just pop down to the bottom greenhouse it's a whole warmer in here what it is on that garden the brought the lavenders down pop them in the tray i will if it gets really cold i do fleece this at night all those seeds we put in i keep the fleece on those all the time then if the sun does get too strong it's not bleaching them and burning the seeds as they come through it's 17 degrees celsius in here and it's uh, it's been an overcast day but it's still minus 17 that's good now that'll be it for this week 
many many thanks for watching it's nice to have you with us in these hard times thank you very much for subscribing and hopefully we'll see you next week and remember stay safe